This video brought to you by Loot Crate. Go to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and use promo code BRIDGE10 to save 10% on a new subscription. Stick around to the end for more details. Welcome back, Canonites. Well, Halo Tales from Slipspace sort of released on Tuesday, but fear not, the review is in the works. In the meantime, however, I have something of a holdover theorycraft video. Today we'll be discussing the identity of the mysterious builder from the Halo 5 intel items. Naturally, we don't have an actual identity as of yet, but there are a couple of interesting bits of information we can theorize around. To start, let's talk about who he is not. Some fans out there have theorized that he might be Faber, the Master Builder, but we can say for sure that he is not. Spoilers ahead for the Forerunner Saga. At the very end of the Forerunner Flood War, the remains of Forerunner Society had gathered on the Greater Ark. When it came under attack, the Master Builder used Omega Halo, the last of the original 30,000 km rings, to create an opening in the Star Roads that surrounded it and the Greater Ark. For those who don't know, Star Roads were a precursor construct that, like all other precursor technology, was susceptible to the Halo effect. Anyway, the Master Builder would be killed by the Star Roads as they tore apart the Greater Arc and Omega Halo. So in short, the Mysterious Builder cannot be the Master Builder. So onto the real meat of the video, a possible clue at who the Builder could be, or rather what he could be. In Promises to Keep from Halo Fractures, we learn some very interesting information about an artifact known as the Organon. Naturally, spoilers ahead. When it was first introduced, the Organon was said to be a precursor artifact that could activate all other precursor technology. In Promises, the former head of the Ekmean Council, Splendid Dust of Ancient Suns, reveals that the Organon is not only real, but was how the early Forerunners learned to access the Domain. Since that time, the Organon has been kept at the center of the Capital World, the whole capital actually built around the artifact, and has faded into legend. The truth was only known to the highest in Forerunner society, and based on the context of the book, perhaps even only among the Ekumene Council. When I first read about this, I was reminded of this clip from Halo 5's mission intel. Organon gone. Domain burned. Damaged. So when I first played through Halo 5, I found this rather weird. At the end of Halo Silentium, the Gravemind reveals that the Organon and the Domain are one and the same. So how could the Organon be gone and the Domain burning if they're the same thing? Promises to Keep reveals that while they're not exactly one and the same, they are very closely connected. Okay, one problem solved, but how does this Builder know about the Organon? Well, with the revelations from Splendid Dust, it would seem that our mysterious Builder was a rather high-ranking person in Forerunner society, perhaps even a counselor himself. As stated, knowledge of the Organon's existence was very closely guarded, and given that this Forerunner was in the Domain when the Halos fired, it's possible he would have been able to sense, in some manner, the Organon's absence. Now, it's entirely possible that the Builder learned of the Organon once in the Domain, but given that the fact that it was barely working towards the end of the Forerunner Flood War, and that he had other priorities, I personally find this very unlikely. So, what do you all think? Could our mysterious Builder be a former counselor? If so, the knowledge he potentially possesses could prove invaluable in the fight against Cortana and the Created. Or do you think that I've got it all wrong? Let me know in the comments below. Also, consider checking out another video I did covering some of the revelations from Promises to Keep. Link on screen and in the description box. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider subscribing to Loot Crate. By going to trylootcrate.com slash halocanon and using promo code BRIDGE10, you can save 10% on a new subscription to the base Loot Crate offering. Loot Crate is a monthly subscription box service for epic geek and gamer items and pop culture gear.